good morning. My name is Nick DiGiulio, and I have the privilege of welcoming you to today's webinar, Technology, the New Workplace Imperative. We are thrilled to have you with us today, and thank you for taking the time out of your schedule. POI has been holding a series of webinars over the past 11 months since COVID presented itself. And we are excited today that we collectively can feel we are turning the corner on COVID. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Everyone's efforts are paying off and opinions are changing. Toronto Board of Trade has data that will be published this week that shows, quote, roughly 64% of downtown office workers now, quote, feel safe going to their workplace in the core. People can't wait to return to some sense of normality. And of course, in our industry, what does that mean for people, space and productivity, specifically in respect to technology? Today, we will address three points. One, we'll be sharing research and insights on the evolving role technology plays in the workspace. We'll take a virtual technology tour through an office, and we have speakers from both POI who will be joined by four great partners, Steelcase, Microsoft, Crestron, and AppSpace to discuss technology solutions, including wayfinding, collaboration, and conferencing. As in the past, if you have comments or questions, please put them into the chat and we'll attempt to answer them at the end of the presentation. So it's my privilege to introduce the POI team who will be presenting along with our partners. Anne, Julie, and Jason will be presenters, and Stephanie, Stephanie will moderate the questions and answers. So let's get started first with Anne Gowan. We have a jam-packed session. Enjoy the presentation, and over to you, Anne. Thanks, Nick. You know, pre-pandemic for many global companies, the concept of integrating their architecture, furniture and technology in order to support distributed teams was common practice. These larger global companies tended to be leaders in the adoption of technologies like Zoom, Teams and GoToMeetings, all of which we've become very familiar with. Building dedicated video conferencing and telepresence spaces to support this virtual collaboration was standard practice. Fast forward to March 2020 with 4.7 million Canadian workers leaving their offices to work from their homes resulted in all of them or all of us being distributed team members that needed to rely heavily on technology to support collaboration and innovation in order to maintain business continuity. Accommodating for distributed teams may have been the exception for larger companies with teams across continents However, in this emerging new model, it is transitioning to be the rule for all organizations. Today, braiding the physical and the digital is probably one of the largest problems to solve for within the workplace. Technology is no longer a tick the box solution or simply putting a screen on a wall does not embrace activity based design, nor does it address what people are expecting when they return to the workplace. Companies need to rethink the role that technology is increasingly playing in connecting people to places. Our partner, Steelcase, known for research and insights into work, worker and the workplace, indicates that we are just not going back to the five days a week in the office. Since the pandemic, Steelcase continued the research or, or even honed in a little bit more and they've completed at least eight primary studies in 10 countries. They've spoken to more than 32,000 people and have analyzed 8,000 floor plans, approximately 40,000 workstations. And the research is continuing now every quarter across the globe, keeping it current. Most organizations are seeing three main approaches, some in the office, some at home or a third place, which may be a co-working space or cafe or the library. However, right now for most of us, it means a home office. With the majority of those surveyed interested in a long-term hybrid solution, as you see here at the 72%, hyper attention to the braiding of architecture, furniture, and technology in the workplace is an imperative. 
looking at organizations more holistically, not just from a tools and processes perspective, means looking at the interrelationship between people, place, and technology. Integration of communication tools, wayfinding, space density, room and desk reservations are key in this new hybrid workplace. Organizational communication is more important than ever to build brand, reinforce culture, and navigate the ever-changing protocols in this unprecedented environment. Being able to navigate place through wayfinding technologies and space occupancy data allows individuals to make choices about the right place to achieve their best work, manage density, and have control over their individual well being and safety. Rapid deployment of technology allows teams to participate in untethered and inclusive collaboration experiences. Mobile technology leads to the optimization of the workspace and allows for digital collaboration to happen not just behind four walls but anywhere work happens. Personalization of focus spaces in the hybrid workspace is no longer about personal artifa artifacts, the photos, the awards, the diplomas, but having the ability to automatically adjust your selected home base to suit your specific ergonomic needs and have a seamless connection to your technology tools allows for individual accommodation in a work anywhere world. There's no one solution that's right for everyone, especially now everyone's perspective of safety is different. Everyone's work from home or work from anywhere is different. Tech is the driver to allow for that flexibility. We are also seeing that new patterns of work emerging as a result of the pandemic and a result and, and looking forward. People who often did individual work in more dense open spaces desire more enclosure or shielding to control privacy and safety. People are less comfortable gathering with others in enclosed spaces and so now teams who frequently worked in enclosed conference room prefer to be in a more open setting, both for a sense of safety and the flexibility to expand and contract and adjust their space easily based on their activities. This leads one to imagine that increased video use in me and we spaces is needed to ensure an inclusive experience for those remote as well as those physically present. Rapid deployment of technology of mobile technology allows for the democratization of virtual meetings and can equally support team and individual work. So what do we know and what do we wonder? Well, we certainly know that innovation is key. In order to innovate, we need to collaborate and take risk. To take risk, we need trust. And to trust, we need to have established social capital. On this next slide, you'll see that the, the pre-pandemic that we had banked a lot of strong social capital a year later, the concern is that the social capital has been eroded. I know for me and within my teams and extended teams, there was that strong social capital. Now, social time is scheduled or fabricated with virtual happy hours or coffee breaks as opposed to the more organic and ad hoc social interactions and serendipitous encounters that leads to the exchange of ideas and innovation. Surveys from our customers and our own teams indicate employees are yearning for access to the workplace. Nick talked about the most recent stats. Access to the tools and technology we need to get our work done, access to our peers, the ability to collaborate, socialize, and have a sense of belonging and purpose. The workplace must be a destination of choice. Doing it right results in engagement, retention, productivity, and that key ingredient, innovation. The outcome is continuity and growth. What we wonder is, what is the formula? for the return to a new hybrid workplace? And how do we manage people within that workplace? How do we encourage inclusivity and democratization of virtual meetings that abandon old behaviors? What does the adaptation of new technologies look like? How can we make rapid changes to improve the workplace? And how will the workplace transform from a fixed to a more fluid environment? And with that, I would like to bring on Julie, who is going to walk us through a virtual reality experience that we put together. That is, we're calling it a day in the life. It's a journey. I hope you enjoy it, and maybe you'll see yourselves in some of these settings. Over to you, Julie. Good morning, everyone. And you know, those no wonder statements you just shared with us are so on point. They're really so top of mind for everybody right now. 
what I'm hoping for is that today I can show you some things that might help answer or give you some solutions for those wonder questions you shared. I'd love to and how you mentioned the braiding of the digital and physical worlds. Um, it's just so imperative that these things are happening in the new hybridized office settings with spaces transforming to respond to the newly identified needs that must include safety and well-being. Our studio team here at POI created this virtual experience to help illustrate how furniture, architecture and technology intersect to deliver a work environment that supports productivity and innovation. So come take a walk with me. First off, Creating this welcoming and intuitive experience for your employees and guests has never been more important. Companies need to manage the flow of guests entering into the office to ensure that the workplace is safe. When arriving, typically you check in with the reception to announce your arrival. Integrating technology into the check-in process not only allows you to register guests, but it's also an important health and safety checkpoint for any screening protocols you might have. The welcome kiosk at the reception desk makes it easy to register and alert your host using the integrated directory. Moving to the adjacent waiting area, you're greeted by curated content that shares information such as company announcements, results, awards, and even new employee profiles all while supporting brand awareness. Distributing impactful messages internally and to visitors is part and par parcel of a good content management system, from health and safety notifications to branded content, video, and even digital messaging, we're reinforcing culture, well-being, and informing you at every step. So today, to start your day, you've come in first to attend a team meeting and need to know where to find the team. Fortunately, wayfinding takes some guesswork out of navigating space using a live digital occupancy floor plan. Is the space booked? How can you best choose to avoid high density spaces? Are my colleagues working in the office today? Where can I find them? These are just a few questions that you may ask when you're trying to navigate workspace. With a hybrid work model and heightened sensitivity to safety, you need to know where you can work and wayfinding saves time searching to find the right place by simplifying space navigation. Also notice the tailored company messaging is displayed once again, but now it's within the workplace. Branded messaging shown throughout the workplace enables something called information consistency, distributed messaging that reinforces culture and fosters a sense of belonging throughout the workplace all through the day. So now that you've located your team and you can start your daily stand-up meeting, you're in a space now that's supported with mobile technology, allowing you to collaborate with the in-person team as well as those that are working remotely. User movable furniture, analog tools, as well as digital tools in this space allow for that democratic sharing of information and ensures inclusivity for all team members, no matter where they're working. Hey, Julie, this kind of gets to that me and we that I was talking about, where the team can expand and contract de depending upon how many they need to accommodate and do that in the open. That looks great. It's so true. And this space really does. Uh, it doesn't matter what size team you uh, have using this space because the mobile tools are so flexible. You can really expand and contract this space. It's, a, it's definitely a great use of space. So now you've wrapped up your meeting and your outcome of the meeting is you need some smaller brainstorming sessions. Um, so in order for this smaller team to deconstruct this new problem, you've secured a bookable open collaborative space using the room reservation system. Notice that the light on the room reservation device provides a visual cue that's going to tell others when the space has been booked and when it will become free again. This open collaborative space is also equipped with screen sharing technology and mobile whiteboards. This encourages the contribution of all team members within the space. So now the team solved the first problem of the day, you need to perform some independent focus tasks. Thankfully, you reserved a workspace yesterday from your home office. But before settling in, you want to personalize this workspace to support your individual ergonomics. Using the app on your mobile device, you adjust the desk height. 
Your app remembers your common activities, whether those are seated or standing activities. We've all seen and read the studies that tell us how important moving and changing your postures throughout the day is. However, it's really easy to lose track of time when you're in that focus mode. This app based technology also includes subtle reminders, encouraging you to move throughout the day. Mm. Great reminders. You know, it's so handy for me. I know when I'm really in, in flow and in my focus, I need a reminder to change my posture. So, and I've had clients say that they've had feedback from their employees that it's a very handy tool to have because you're really uh, able to get that reminder. Great. Yeah, it's a favorite of mine too. And I can get really deep into my focus time and an hour or two can go by and I realize I haven't gotten up and moved. So it's definitely an asset to my workspace for sure. I know, I've seen you focus. <laughs> Um, something else we want to consider in this open workspace as well is uh, it can, that it can be difficult to focus with all everything, everything, all the noises and everything going on around you. So using a good set of noise cancelling headphones helps to shut out these distractions. They're really a, an essential tool for your work anywhere environment, whether you're at home or in the office. Also, when talking about noise in the open space, it's important to know that we've added an integrated sound masking system in the ceiling. Um, the sound masking helps to obscure unwanted noise to reduce the transmission of conversations within the space. Lastly, I also want to note with the highlight or the heightened sensitivity of health and safety in workspaces, air purification units have been added throughout the space to give you peace of mind while you work as they deliver surgically clean air into the space. So now, as it always tends to happen during your independent focus work, a remote colleague messages you for support on a problem. This will take some digital collaboration with your colleague to solve. So you move to a non bookable individual space where you can share screens and talk freely with your colleague. To achieve enhanced audio, you decide to use a portable speakerphone. By moving to this enclosed space, you're assured that your conversation will not be heard and you will not be disturbing anyone while you work through this problem. Something else I want to mention about this workspace is the use of uh, workplace analytics within the space. Throughout the workplace, a sensor based occupancy data collection system has been installed. This system assists in optimizing the workplace. It analyzes trends and patterns of how people work within the spaces. It captures where, when, and even how often the space is utilized to assist in making data-driven workplace decision, which is even more important in this new flexible hybrid work environment. It's become very clear that the ability to change space quickly to suit business needs and environmental needs has never been more important than it is today. So working in that enclosed individual space really sped up your ability to get that problem solved with your colleague. So now after a very productive morning, it's time for a well-deserved break and to have lunch. So you move to the work cafe. While there, you notice some updated messaging displayed on the screens via the, con the organization's content management platform. Um, and you make a quick note to remind yourself to welcome Joe to the sales team because you were able to see that organizational announcement with a variety of postural changes and power enabled furniture, the work cafe supports your ability to plug in and catch up on anything that you have may, may have missed throughout the first half of your day. Making cafe spaces harder working spaces that allow you to connect and experience technology within the space extends the use of these spaces from a traditional 11 to 2 p.m. space to now being this all day space. Now you're rejuvenated, you've socialized with some friends over lunch, you're ready to face this afternoon. Next on your agenda is a presentation to the board of directors. And this meeting includes participants in person as well as from remote working destinations and satellite offices. Notice when approaching the boardroom, again, it's clear from the red light on the room reservation display that the space has been booked in advance of your meeting. To protect confidentiality, the room's also outfitted with a cloaking film technology that's applied to the glass wall. This obscures the digital screen to the outside view. The film behaves as a smart shield to include data 
to ensure data privacy while providing the peace of mind to collaborate freely in the boardroom. You know, I find that privacy is always such a big concern when you're putting glass in boardroom fronts, which we like to do because we want the light to come into the, the work area. Uh, th this technology is a great way to solve for that. It's a, I don't know, perfect vanishing act, I feel. <laughs> it's a very good way to put it in. Um, it's definitely a technology I know has helped a number of our customers with privacy issues in similar spaces. So definitely something to consider when you're putting these glass walls in for sure. Now we can't forget about the meeting experience within this room as well. This room is equipped with an all in one conferencing system that has built in wireless presentation capability. It also has an occupancy sensor in the room that automatically powers on the technology and enables touch free connectivity. So your wireless presentation is ready and able to be displayed in seconds. The rooms also equipped with a high performance camera so that the larger audience in the room can be seen, creating this inclusive and really truly democratic experience for all of the attendees. So the meeting's done. Whew, we've made it through that board meeting, but after a quick break, you're off to another meeting. In this informal project room, the room allows attendees the freedom to get up and interact with the touchscreen technology enabling the team to analyze data, review results, and set forecast numbers. It gives them a truly iterative, collaborative experience with cross-functional team members that are both in-person and remote. It was a quick meeting. Uh, your meeting ended, but as always, there's still more to do. So you port your digital whiteboard, moving to the mobile touchscreen display in an open team space. Your information has been digitally transferred and it's ready and available for you and your in-office colleagues to keep working in this new location. But while collaborating, it becomes pretty clear that a subject matter expert is gonna be needed to complete this task. And as you mentioned earlier about the other open collaborative space, this open meeting space and the tools within it are also providing that same flexibility to expand to accommodate for any additional team members. So it's been a productive and a long day. You can say that again, Julie, it sure has. Yeah, but just before you're entering your day, you choose an informal non-bookable space to take advantage of a lounge posture and a little bit of rejuvenation while you debrief with your colleagues to plan activities for the balance of the week. You really like this room uh, because it's equipped with a collaboration sound bar that provides truly exceptional audio and image quality. With a technology enabled space, you've been productive, efficient and engaged all day. Navigating the office has never been easier. Technology has enhanced choice and control over where and how you do your best work and makes the office a truly essential destination. So thanks everybody for taking a walk with me today. I'm now going to hand this off to Jason Zaguerra, who's gonna introduce you to some of our technology partners. Thank you, Julie. That was a great day in the life virtual experience. And hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jason Zagara, the Audiovisual Integration Manager for POI. And today, I will be introducing our partner presenters. The digital workplace transformation has changed the way we work. As the hybrid workplace evolves, agile companies are reimagining the business tools and collaboration solutions needed to keep people connected. Bridging the workforce and workspaces empowers people to collaborate more efficiently from anywhere. This leads us to question, is our enterprise prepared for the hybrid workforce? How do we safely bridge our flexible and mobile workforce for the return to the office? Do we have the right strategy and tools to successfully modernize and foster a more robust company culture? And how do we efficiently keep people informed and engaged? Ultimately, Choosing the right technology to support business continuity is truly key to braid the physical and the digital workforce. And now we have the privilege of introducing a powerful and influential lineup of leading technology specialists from our, our product manufacturers and partner solutions. What is unique about these four partners is the seamless integration between their platforms, their ability to easily deploy, standardize user-centric technology-enabled spaces for a consistent experience 
allowing people to stay connected and work from anywhere. To kick off the presentations, we start with our longest partnership from our good friends at Steelcase. Presenting is Matthew Bastoni, who will discuss space optimization and the importance of the purpose-built interior as it relates to technology. Next up, we'll have Mike Murphy from Microsoft to discuss the power of Microsoft Teams Rooms and Teams Rooms devices. Following Microsoft, Jonathan Garcia, the Technical Director of Crestron Canada, will talk to us about the digital workplace experience and the return to office trends. And lastly, closing the partner segment is Kel Yulsgaard. He'll be discussing how to pe keep people and places in sync through modern digital signage and content distribution. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the presentation. Over to you, Matt. Thanks, Jason. As, uh, as Ann and Julie mentioned earlier, as, uh, as we've been in various stages of coming back to the office, it hasn't been easy. Uh, it's required extra effort and new behaviors. Even in really well-designed spaces, we've seen that following safety procedures help us feel safe, but the spaces themselves lack that collective energy that we all crave. In many cases, our customers, you all, have told us that people returning to the workplace ended up returning back to working from home, even though that's not truly where they wanted to be. This is where we believe a technology enhanced built interior, we'll call it a smart and connected workplace, can assist organizations in bringing people back safely into the workplace and recreate that collective energy that we're all craving, both now and in the future. So what do we mean by a smart and connected workplace? What we're talking about is how technology can augment and enhance the user experience within the office. The goal is to create that environment that allows people to better engage with their space, with their work, and more importantly, with each other. So how can the technology enhance the employee experience and increase organizations return on investment in real estate? We view, we view these spaces uh, in having three four main components actually, uh, enhanced wayfinding and reservation systems, digital utilization tools, uh, employee well-being tools, and digital content sharing and collaboration capabilities. As shown in the virtual reality experience, wayfinding solutions with the corporate interior is a powerful way to help people connect with their environment and with others in it. We feel that digital wayfinding within these offices have three main components, interactive floor plan displays, space schedulers, both in the enclosed and the open environments, uh, and personal device applications. Considering the average user spends approximately 15 minutes a day looking for spaces to meet and work, these tools can make a significant improvement on the user experience within the built interior while enhancing the productivity of employees and the performance of the real estate. Shown above is our Steelcase Room Wizard. Uh, it's our room reservation solution system that allows clear wayfinding, intuitive at device user experience. It also integrates with Microsoft and Google, Google calendaring systems, and it's easy to scale and offers simple remote device management. Next up, we've uh, measuring the performance on the work environment provides key insights into how effectively and efficiently it supports its users. The data can play a key role in managing workplace safety protocols and support corporate real estate strategies. With Steelcase Workplace Advisor, utilization data is captured using a series of motion sensors and the results are displayed on an intelligent dashboard that applies meaning, taking the guessing game out of interpreting the data. Utilization reports also provide summarized insights into how the space is performing, as well as key actions to consider for optimizing the space's performance. While wayfinding, while the wayfinding experience can play a key role in reducing workplace stressors, there are also, are also in, uh, solutions to encourage movement throughout the day. Uh, pictured here is the Steelcase Rise app, pairs via Bluetooth to desks that are outfitted with Steelcase Active Touch. Uh, it saves your seated and your standing height settings. It tracks time sitting versus standing and offers those gentle reminders to move throughout the day. Uh, and it's also free to download on Android and iOS devices. And the ability to support digital content sharing and virtual meetings is now more important than ever. The ability to do so within a dedicated and non-dedicated space offers organizations increased flexibility and control of how they leverage their investment in space and technology. Pictured above is the Steelcase Roam. Uh, it's Roam is a system of mobile stands and carts developed with Microsoft for support of Surface Hub 2, turning any space into a teamwork space. 
Now to discuss the power of Microsoft Team Rooms devices, our partner, Mike Murphy. Thank you, Matthew, and good morning, everyone. Go ahead there, Jason. Jason, you can move. There we go. Thank you. We've all been under an unprecedented time of change, and that change will stay with us as we return to the office. 82% of companies are expected to have an increased work from home policy over what they had prior to the disruption. People have become more pro productive working from home, adding an additional hour of work time every day. But working from home leaves most workers feeling less connected to their work and to their colleagues. People often think of 2020 as the year work moved home, but in reality, it's the year work moved to the cloud. In a hybrid world where people work from home, office and everywhere in between, we'll need cloud powered solutions like Microsoft Teams to keep up. Companies will need to rethink workspaces to accommodate both their physical and digital presence. Microsoft Teams has become the organizing layer for all the ways we work. It provides the modes of communication, the collaboration tools, and the ability to extend it to other apps and services. As a result, Teams has incredible momentum with unprecedented growth. Upon the return to the office, this hybrid structure will mean that meetings in the office will have an increased number of remote participants and will mean an increased need for video conferencing capability in your meeting rooms. Microsoft has research that shows that 7% of meeting spaces in North America are currently optimized for video conferencing. Similarly to the change we went through by working from home, Microsoft Teams will be the connecting force between individuals working remotely and then the groups meeting back in the office. At Microsoft Ignite this week, we announced a number of new features to Teams, including breakout rooms, where meeting participants can be divided into smaller groups for stronger collaboration into opportunities, together mode. This is Microsoft's AI technology digitally placing participants in one room with a shared background for a more lifelike experience to reduce background distractions from the conversation. And custom layouts, my personal favorite, where presenters can customize how content shows up on a meeting presentation, including the new reporter mode shown in the fourth box below, where the presenter can be seen prominently and can best communicate with the group, as well as many more features. And I invite you to search online Microsoft Ignite new Teams features, and there's a ton of information there. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft Teams Rooms. Microsoft Teams Rooms is a certified hardware solution that will ensure the meeting experience upon the return to the office is an, ex is an experience that's an easy to use, standardized, and has reliable quality. A Microsoft Teams Room solution includes pre-bundled components that you can see here, such as the tabletop console uh, with the touchscreen, uh, speaker, speaker bar, camera, uh, and microphones. And these bundles all are team certified and uh, that ensures com the compatibility and it ensures top quality. This is the meeting room technology that Julie was just demonstrating in the, uh, the VR session of the webinar. Firstly, user connection experience will be simple with Microsoft's proximity based meeting join. Users simply enter the meeting space and will be presented with a wireless option to join the meeting on their laptops or mobile devices. It's a great feature to make it easy to connect and for any companies that want to have as many reduced touch points in the office as possible. Secondly, when there are meetings with multiple users who have their own laptops, echo and feedback screech will occur. We've all, been, we've all experienced this in the past when there are multiple live uh, microphones and speakers on our devices in one room. With Microsoft Teams rooms, that issue is corrected as once the user connects to the device on the table, their speakers and microphones are automatically turned off and the superior speaker and microphone system of the, of the Microsoft Teams room system kicks in and is used and takes away any of the worries about the echo and the screech uh, effects. There are many new 
new Teams Rooms technologies that can upgrade the experience for remote participants when traditional whiteboarding is used. In this example, Microsoft Intelligent Capture can make the presenter seem transparent so that the whiteboard can be seen without interruption. If you have current rooms, which are on a Cisco or a Zoom platform, you can still implement Teams Rooms devices and not have to discard your legacy systems. Through Microsoft's direct guest join technology, your new Teams Rooms meeting spaces can still engage with your occasional meetings for those, on those previous platforms. Finally, the Teams Room devices will need its own license to power your meetings. These are, there are two types of uh, devices, standard and premium. Standard will provide all the normal meeting experiences you would expect from Microsoft Teams. Premium will include technology that will provide an advanced security feature set, as well as Microsoft's AI-powered managed services technology that monitors your rooms and ensures that they're always optimized and they're always working. Thank you for your time. I hope that you'll consider Microsoft Teams Rooms technology as part of your new modern workplace. Now I'd like to introduce Jonathan from Crestron. Thanks, Mike. Um, thanks uh, again, everyone, for joining us this morning. Uh, my name is Jonathan Garcia from Crestron. Uh, you know, uh, Anne really hit it on the head uh, earlier today when she said, you know, tech is the driver for that ability to really, you know, democratize access to video and to, to spaces. Um, and that's really where Crestron comes from. You know, our hardware platform is really designed to do more so that you can do more from anywhere, regardless of the space or place. When we look at the modern workplace, we understand that there is going to be a hybridization where people are going to want to work in different places and spaces. And depending upon the organization, that might mean that we have C-suite in the office and we have other people that are remote working from home, um, or maybe it's a scheduled you know, access. And what we wanted to really do from our hardware platform was make that communication effective, regardless of where people were working from. Again, democratizing that access to collaboration and information uh, making making organizations successful. When we look at the specific trends that happen across the, the return to office, return to work, um, re enabling remote participants is certainly key. While we recognize that there was a time when video access might have been a nice to have, today it's a need to have. That, uh, that ability to be able to connect remotely, uh, again, whether it's a Teams or a or some other video platform, that ability to, to enable those remote participants from satellite offices, um, from global, uh, uh, global partners, um, that is key to, to organizations being successful. Of course, workplace safety um, and looking at those low and zero touch solutions. Um, as Mike highlighted, you know, proximity join, um, using Bluetooth beacons, uh, those kinds of things where we can now facilitate uh, maybe access from people's personal device. Um, or again, using sensors in the room to enable things like activating displays. Remote management, of course, is an important uh, component to that as well. Understanding that people are not always going to be in the office and, and supporting those people who are in the office or who are in remote spaces or places, um, that remote management also becomes key. Understanding that the, the technology may be complex for some users, um, that ability to simplify it or to, to manage it remotely uh, understanding when systems are online or offline, uh, providing preventative maintenance, uh, those kinds of things are key to the success of these hybridized workspaces. Uh, of course, again, we've all talked about, uh, uh, Julie talked a lot about big data and analytics, uh, and we wanted to also have that ability to facilitate um, how we leverage that big data, um, understanding what technology people are using, has that been successful, um, what spaces they're using, so being able to, to measure that and provide that again as a dashboard, as an analytic is key. When we look at, again, how people are using these collaborative spaces and, and how people are, are looking at their digital workplace strategy, um, we see kind of three key components. Um, certainly we want to engage people and we want to make sure that they are indeed involved. And again, part of that is through, through video, uh, making sure that we can see them and we can uh, interact with them. Uh, it's also about providing information to them. Uh, maybe it's about what is the return to work plan, uh, and that could come through things like digital signage um, or other uh, you know, digital platforms of information. We understand, of course, that there's that changing nature of work. Again, there was a time when video was a nice to have. 
Today, it's a, it's a key component of, of almost every organization. Um, understanding, of course, that there's still those analog needs, as, as Mike pointed out and as Julie pointed out in the VR, um, there are those needs for analog spaces, the traditional whiteboard, where we want to take a marker um, or a flip chart or, or do those sorts of things, but still be able to capture that in a digital way. Also, of course, reimagining the, the technology, um, making video accessible in non-traditional spaces, mobile spaces, huddle spaces, um, again, personal spaces, laptops, airports, those kinds of things, um, that really removes those, uh, those barriers. Now, as Crestron, again, we're the, we're the hardware provider, we're the platform that goes, and, and we really feel that we have a, a space, uh, a, a place in, in all of these uh, digital workspaces and places. We certainly make room control systems uh, and Microsoft Teams room systems. Um, so whether the space is a personal system by way of a desk phone, uh, whether it's a room scheduling panel, whether it's a collaboration display, uh, digital signage, of course, you know, we're going to hear from AppSpace here in a couple of moments, and, and uh, Crestron and AppSpace are also partners. So leveraging that hardware across their platform. Uh, video walls, uh, whether they're for, again, digital signage, for advertising purposes, marketing purposes, key plays there. And the video distribution, of course, that we saw, again, the digital signage, the internal or external messaging uh, that we want to be able to provide not only to our employees, but to our guests and our vendors and our partners. Uh, of course, AV control, uh, whether that's an in-room control of a system, a control of a, of a global organization, that management, that remote management piece, um, that's a key component as well. Uh, and again, the digital whiteboards. You know, we're, uh, Crestron is a, is a great Microsoft partner. Uh, we've had a long, uh, long-standing relationship there. And so, you know, this is a great opportunity to sort of look at how, you know, we talk about that day in the life of, uh, from a Crestron hardware perspective, uh, you know, we have things like scheduling touch screens. Uh, we're one of uh, Microsoft's first partners to market with their team scheduling panel that we uh, announced here at Ignite uh, this week. Uh, our Flex solution, which is our Microsoft Teams room offering, uh, can be also paired with occupancy sensors. Again, now we have that in-room sensing. We can understand how the room is being used. If the room is not being used, return it to inventory. Uh, and we tie that out, of course, with XIO Cloud, which is our uh, analytic piece, our software as a service, where we can get that data. We can manage and monitor those systems, provide that remote support. Um, and so that really takes you through that day in the life of. That really takes you through the from starting outside the room to managing the room to understanding how we're going to continue uh, to move forward with our technology. Uh, so again, Crestron is, is truly the system for every space. Uh, we believe that we can be that one platform to manage all of the workplace technology needs, regardless of the size, uh, regardless of the, the type of room. Uh, we have solutions that are, that are suitable for, for lots of those kinds of things. Uh, and so with that, I think I can uh, hand it over to uh, Keld Yulesgaard from AppSpace, who will take us through uh, their platform. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Um, and thank you for the opportunity. This has been a uh, really a, a mind opening uh, exercise. I was extremely impressed by the virtual re reality environment that we, we saw and uh, Julie walked us through. Um, as you did notice, AppSpace was powering all those screens and devices uh, with digital signage, um, employee communication and, and wayfinding, room and desk reservations, and, and, and the stretch is really beyond the office also into to, to this new mobile and, and hybrid workspace, um, which is all features in our platform. You know, we're not just a point product for signage anymore. We're really an end-to-end -end platform driving uh, this information consistency and, and employee engagement. Uh, there's also people who call it occupancy uh, engagement. I like that a lot. Um, AppSpace been around for almost 20 years. Uh, we got a global footprint and follow the sun support uh, as a lot of our customers are global. Uh, a lot of those in, in Fortune 500. We only do software as, as a service, um, which means we constantly try to rewin and uh, renew our customers' business. Uh, we got over 3,000 around the world and our secure tools delivers really the ability for customers to modernize the workplace and achieve workplace initiatives. Um, our relentless innovation is really driven by all these uh, large uh, customers 
and we understand their challenges and we're built for scale, reliability and simplicity to manage and providing exceptional value. So uh, if you think about it, AppSpace is, is a software platform for the modern workplace. Uh, you've seen a bunch of the examples in the VR. Uh, we are software only and hardware and operating system agnostic. Um, we don't sell any proprietary hardware, uh, but we work seamlessly on almost all types of screens, uh, media players and enterprise messaging platforms. Uh, so we really help to get the right information and content to screens and employees or occupants across organizations at scale. So we purpose built only really a single unified platform that delivers uh, a really easy to deploy, maintain uh, and, and manage for, for, for IT organizations and for the business users alike that are typically the corporate execs, uh, exec com, HR facilities and, and, and others. Uh, so it just creates a great workplace experience and really engaging uh, for, for employees, whether they are in the office or working from home in, in this new world. Um, our solution is, is uh, as I mentioned, an end-to-end -end platform with, with communication tools to connect and engage with your employees, no matter where they work. So we can bring consistent and timely communication which is more critical than ever, really. I think we can all agree that that this last year has really see, shown us all um, how how this has has evolved. Um, your team might be just uh, dispersed geographically, or they could just really be working from home. This this is the new reality, and but it doesn't mean that they have to feel out of the loop. Uh, we can cut through all the noise of emails, chats, oversaturated channels, and bringing the right important information pushed out to all digital signage and devices at the right time. Um, I think the, uh, the, the, the great examples that we saw in the VR uh, demo and environment here uh, really gave us a, a great opportunity to really think about what are the challenges that organizations fa faces today, sort of as we are hopefully in towards the back end of the pandemic. Um, a lot of the things that, that we saw accelerated had already started with with a, a new way of working, and I think all the other all the um, presenters so far has really given great examples of of what can a new reality look like. Um, I think to a large degree it's already there. Uh, all organizations are looking for best way to communicate and engage with with team members and bring them back to the office uh, in a safe and organized way. So the new concept of, of hybrid workplace is really the centerpiece of our go to market strategy and our platform integrates with all existing hardware platforms and enterprise messaging tools to drive better adoption and engagement. Um, this is a great setup uh, with with the uh, with the uh, the partners that that were presenting today. We are all really uh, compatible and, and, and have deep integration. Uh, so we 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 are the the so sort of the layer that that unifies uh, teams by by the information you can create, discover or deliver content live or, or recordings, static or I interactive, uh, the right messages at the right time to the right people. Uh, you can create your own content or you can use the available app space feeds um, that's curated for, for, for your specific industry um, and a huge push for us. Um, it can be scheduled as, as with sort of regular signage. It can be scheduled as shared anywhere, broadcasted, narrowcasted and scheduled when the information is to be published, including displays, all meeting rooms, apps, video walls, um, mobile devices, etc. Uh, you can also interrupt it, uh, regular broadcasting with critical or emergency messaging. So, so by extending the reach now into the enterprise messaging apps, we are also also very much making the uh, the people working from home a part of the uh, of the new world order because they can they can feel that they are part of it uh, because they typically have to participate with with video and and uh, enterprise messaging tools. In, in a ton of meetings um, in the, through the day. Um, so so that's that's where we really integrate very well with Microsoft Teams, Slack and WebEx and really extend the reach uh, that, that way back. Um, 
to measure impact, adoption, and drive continuous improvement. We can measure and analyze the engagement. Uh, you can track how published information is being uh, is performing, how, how people have engaged with it, uh, identify successful communication across regions, lines of business, and, and mobile workers, and use all that insight to drive a uh, communication strategy. Um, so the last slide here is really sort of a snapshot of our solution. Uh, you saw a lot of the examples in the in the VR demo. Uh, so it is a platform that engages employees wherever they are, if they're in the office, working from home, or they're on the go. So we provide space management platform uh, with tools for facilities, HR and IT, which is controlled an easy way to return to the office strategy through workflow, execution and, and bookable uh, resources, check-in uh, in kiosk, et cetera, as we saw. Um, in the workplace, we assist employees by check-in, uh, wayfinding, uh, getting to from locations to destinations, uh, booking any kind of resources via our scheduling tools for meeting rooms, hot desks, parking spots, cafeteria seats, ping pong tables, whatever it is, you know, we've really built out a a full resource management thing that that integrates um, with with our entire platform uh, and is fully functional mobile also. Um, so you can really run AppSpace on any device, view any content on demand or live. And this is the way that we drive uh, the information consistency. Thank you so much. And I will uh, pass it back to Jason. Thank you, gentlemen. Great presentations from all of you on solutions that support collaboration and the return to the office. And now I'd like to turn it over to Stephanie to answer questions you may have entered into the chat. Stephanie. Thanks, Jason. I've been seeing some really great questions come through throughout the presentation, so I think we should get started. So to kick things off, I'm gonna briefly introduce our panelists who should look familiar as they are part of the incredible team who put this webinar together. From POI, we have Anne, Julie, and Jason. And from our partners, we have Matt from Steelcase, Mike from Microsoft, Jonathan from Crestron, as well as Kel from AppSpace. So trying to be mindful of everyone's time and seeing that we only have about eight minutes to do questions, I'm gonna hop right into the first one. And the first question reads, how can we leverage the technology we currently have for example, AV in enclosed rooms or when individuals want to collaborate in the open office areas. Jason, I think you would be the best to answer this one, so I'm gonna send it to you. Thanks, Stephanie. Today, improving performance uh, for audio and video and adding collaboration in both enclosed spaces uh, and also in the open office is critical. This is a great question. It's, it's really one that gets asked quite often um, so adding technology into existing spaces uh, to enhance the experience uh, and bringing teams together uh, really truly has never been easier. Uh, in closed spaces, uh, if you have existing displays for content sharing, consider adding speaker, microphone, and camera to enhance the experience for the in-room participants and the uh, remote participants that are joining from home or remotely. Uh, if you have uh, open office spaces, as you've seen in the VR and from our partners, Rapid deployment is a really great way to equip teams with uh, mobile conferencing tools wherever they need it. And this can be done with existing technology. And of course, the most important is from a platform that you know and understand. Perfect. Okay, Julie, I'm going to cue you up for this next question from Elaine. She asked, with the flexible open office environment, how do you provide outlets for power to ensure flexibility? Love this question, Steph. I've been in the design industry for a long time now. Um, and so if I think back and I go back, you know, 10, 12 years, there weren't a lot of options. Like, if you wanted to make a change in the open office space, we're talking core drills and wire mold and things like that to get power to our spaces. But there's some really great under carpet, low profile um, power solutions. Steelcase has one that's called Thread. There's other ones out there as well that will help to um, create sort of a network of power in these open spaces. And they're low profile enough that they can go under the carpet and really not have any impact on um, 
your space or tripping hazards, that kind of thing. Something else to think about too with this, uh, we talk about this rapid deployment of mobile technology, being able to, you know, move technology uh, from one space to the next. Um, and we want to do that and be untethered. So looking at these mobile technology solutions that have some sort of battery backup. So uh, the Roam card that you saw in the VR um, that has the Microsoft Hub on it, um, it can come with a battery uh, pack within the cart that will allow you for um, over 100 minutes of uh, runtime on that, uh, that hub to be able to uh, use the screen on Tethered. So there's options out there for that kind of stuff. One last thing to consider too when you're planning these open environments is uh, power enabled furniture. There's so many furniture pieces out there. Aside from the traditional table with a power monument in the middle, there's actually ancillary pieces of furniture that are power enabled um, that give you that opportunity to have more power within the open space. So sort of forward thinking when you're planning with furniture and technology about how uh, in unique ways can you get power into some of the pieces that you're using to make the spaces so so much more harder working spaces uh, connecting your technology to power anywhere where you're working. Does that help? Yeah, that's great. I think it's so true. Flexibility with power is definitely important within the open office workspace. So I'm just going to look at the time. There's four minutes left, so I think we can squeeze in one more question. I'm going to head this one over to Jason and maybe he can pull in Jonathan from Crestron to help answer. Uh, the question reads, we have a variety of different and difficult to use technology at our office. What would you recommend as a starting point to bring in some of these options to make it more user friendly? It's a good question. I think the, uh, the best approach to outfitting any space is to standardize. The technology doesn't have to be exactly the same, but perform the same, meaning the experience is the same from space to space no matter the size or type of room. This allows people to start meetings with confidence instead of trying to get different types of technology to work between the rooms. I think I'd like to turn this one over to Crestron to weigh in on how we support adoption. Uh, and, and with that, we'd like to call it uh, the short-term essentials and the, the long-term plan. Jonathan? Yeah, absolutely, Jason. Uh, again, you right on point. Uh, you know, standardization is key to, to the success uh, of adoption. Uh, you know, that's been long said that, uh, you know, you have to have a good experience. You know, that first experience has to be a good one. Um, otherwise, people won't use the, you know, on, a, on an ongoing basis. Um, so that's uh, the standardization is key to that. And, and that's one of the areas where Crestron, you know, really excels from a hardware perspective is that our solutions scale. And so from the most simple, you know, maybe it's a flat panel on a wall where somebody needs to come in and, and just as a, on an ad hoc basis, provide some some content. Um, you know, as a, as a wireless presentation to the most uh, complex or sophisticated room, you know, we can really standardize that experience so that the experience is the same as you move through all of the different spaces uh, in between. That's absolutely key to that, uh, that experience. Perfect. Okay, so 11.58, there's two minutes. So on behalf of the rest of the team here, I just wanted to thank you all for submitting your questions. We'd be uh, we'd be grateful to answer any of your questions. Um, so what we will do is we will send out all the unanswered questions in the upcoming days. So look out for that. Um, so I'm also now going to hand it over to Nick for the closing remarks. Nick. Hey, thanks, Steph, and thanks to all the presenters. Uh, both from POI and from our vendor partners. Uh, well done. It was an excellent uh, webinar. And I'd like to thank all of you uh, as well for joining us. If you have any questions or inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact your POI account manager. Um, they will be able to get you in touch with our POI technology team and our vendors to assist you with your inquiries. So we look forward to hosting you again soon. Stay safe and distanced and until next time, thank you and have a great rest of the day.